Hello everyone, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to kind of do a new series on my channel where I just talk to you about things that I wish I knew before I did them. <laughs> I think that this would help out a ton for some of you, especially closer in my age and kind of my life um, events, if that makes sense. It'll also be really helpful for me to be able just to like vent about the things that I've gone through, the mistakes that I've made in hopes to help somebody else out there. I know I'm still, I mean, I'm still really young and so there's a ton of mistakes to be made, but I just thought it'd be fun to be able to be open and honest with them and share them with you guys. Hopefully you guys can relate to some of my silly mess ups, but... Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully this helps in any way. I don't really know, didn't really think of how I was going to introduce it, but that's the gist of it. I hope that you guys are excited and enjoy this video today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to have you here on my channel and let's just hop right in. So for this series, I want to be able to openly share about lots of different things that I've gone through, lots of different mistakes that I've made, mistakes I will continue to make. Uh, just to be honest and open with you guys, I think that that's what I really love about YouTube. There's a lot of awesome open people and I want to be able to help other people as well. So to keep the first uh, kind of episode light, it's just a fun introduction of what it's going to be like. I wanted this episode to be Waxing 101 because this is so near and dear to my heart as I just got my first Brazilian wax last week and I was A, so unprepared, B, so just uneducated of what I should be doing and how I should be prepping for it. Um, and there was just a lot of things that went wrong. Um, so I thought it would be funny to share that with you guys. Hopefully some of you can relate. If not, leave your tips down below. Okay, so I did just get um, my first Brazilian last Friday, so almost a week now. It is Saturday, so almost a week. No, that's longer than a week. <laughs> a week and a day. We, we passed a week, and I'm feeling very good about it. Um, but I thought that I would share because I felt like there are two types of people. I'm one of those people that I want to get everybody's opinion. I want to hear, I want to hear your opinion, your story. How did you do this? What did you do? I feel like every time I would ask someone, they would just either say that A, it hurts. And so I'm like, okay, well tell me like the details, the product, like what, how can I not make it hurt as bad? Like, I just felt like they were like, oh, it was horrible. I, it, it hurt. Um, which wasn't really helpful to me and then the others are they've been doing it for like six years or whatever and they love it and they'll never go back and so I'm like okay but tell me the first experience like I just couldn't get that first experience story that I was looking for so that's what I'm here to share with you guys today keep in mind everybody's body is different everyone reacts to the waxing the irritation I mean everyone's body's different so you're not gonna have the same experience but hopefully this will just shed some light um, and hopefully fill in the gaps because I know I had a ton of questions and gaps and I just couldn't find the answers that I was looking for. And yeah, my first experience was not good. <laughs> it wasn't horrible, um, but it wasn't what I like had hoped and thought it was going to be. I, just a disclaimer as well, I find my lady parts to be just so sensitive and delicate, as probably many of us do. I don't like things to be irritated down there or to go wrong. Like that to me just ugh, makes me, I just, I don't like it. I don't like feeling not 100% in that area. And so to have thoughts of it burning or irritation or redness or bumps, I just, ingrown hairs, I was just like, I'm still sweating. I'm like still sweating. I have never like had an ingrown hair before. I call me a lucky one. I just have never had an ingrown hair and so I didn't know what that was going to feel like <sighs> and how I was going to recover from that. It was just a whole scary thing. So um, yeah, I have a few kind of tips and things that I wanted to talk about and we kind of just start from the beginning to kind of the post wax, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's just hop into skin prep. So the things that you're gonna wanna do before you go to your appointment, which I didn't do any of these. <laughs> I, for some reason, just like showed up and was like, let's do this. So number one thing I will say is it is going to hurt. They even tell you that right there. They're like, if you've never done this before, it's going to be painful, it's going to hurt, um, which I, I have a fuzz. 
which I was expecting obviously of the nature of what I'm about to do I knew it was gonna be uncomfortable so before I went to my appointment I decided it would be a great idea to responsibly drink a mixed drink that is the worst thing that you can do when I so I was so incredibly nervous as I talked about before I just could not even imagine having this done to me so but I really wanted to try it everyone says that they either love it or hate it and I wanted to know what it felt like and if I would like it I decided to make myself a just a little pick-me-up a little relaxation drink Sebastian was there to drive me so I didn't have to worry about you know breaking some laws nothing I just wanted to relax so I made a mixed drink and when I got there she asked me if I'd done it before I said no this is my first time she said it was going to her and she said the two main factors that add to the pain are one caffeine and I had two cups of coffee that day at work and alcohol and 30 minutes before my appointment I had just had a mixed drink so I'm sitting there like I just screwed myself. I didn't even know. I didn't even know you weren't supposed to do that or that's a factor. So that's the number one thing I want to tell you. If you're not a drinker, you don't have to worry about that. Stay away from the caffeine. Stay away from the alcohol. You're going to be fine. You don't need liquid courage to get through the experience. Let me tell you. The next thing is to exfoliate, which I did not even do. Again, exfoliating will help, you know, just take off that dead skin um, and prep your skin for the wax um the one that i've seen so many i don't have it with me right now just because i'll probably get it before i do my next appointment next month yes i signed up they gave me a free one they always say they give you your second one free because it's so horrible so i think i'm gonna stick with it see how the second one goes i'll keep you guys updated but i for sure want to do exfoliating um or exfoliation before my second appointment and the one that i've read so many reviews on is the dove body polish is that what it's called yeah the dove body polish um i've been told by my gynecologist before like dove is a good brand like the dove soap is a good brand to use just to like clean those areas um, it's very soft very gentle so i like to stay with the dove brand so i definitely will be picking that up but just exfoliate get your skin ready um shed off that yucky dead skin my next tip is hair length so obviously you're gonna need to have to stop shaving at least like two weeks before your appointment to give your hair some length for them to actually have something to wax off now my thing i think i've read that it should be like the size of a grain of rice um Sorry. Yeah, it should be the size of a grain of rice, which mine, I think, was a bit longer. But I didn't know what length, like, I didn't know how long or how short. Like, I was so nervous they weren't going to have anything, so I just kept growing it out. It wasn't, like, super long, but it was longer than I think it should have been, um, which added to the pain as well. My reason for it kind of being longer is because I think I had it at, like, optimal, like, length but then I got too scared and didn't book my appointment and then I didn't want to start over so then I just did it a couple days later so I think it was just like a couple days too long um, but I think those couple days really makes a difference so just make sure like at least stop shaving two weeks before your appointment and have your appointment booked so that you're ready and you're prepped and you don't miss it um, yeah so just hair length is definitely a factor into what the pain will be like for you the first time um, so just follow those guidelines let's now move on oh I just dropped my pen we can now move on to during the appointment so when you first get there I was so nervous I've said that a billion times but I was just so nervous and I just want to let you guys know I am the most embarrassed Person. everything makes me so uncomfortable and so embarrassed especially being butt naked in front of a stranger where I went to get my wax was lunchbox wax and they were so nice there but for some reason I wasn't nervous at all to be like naked in front of the girl like that was like the least of my worries I am just trying to make it out alive so I will tell you if you're nervous about laying there in front of a total stranger do not be they put you in positions obviously to be able to get the hair in that specific part of your body if that, why did I say that so awkward they just put you in random positions and I felt like I was so like weeks before my appointment that was the thing that made me nervous like I'm just so embarrassed of that area like I can go to the doctor fine but for some reason the doctor and this they were like two different things like 
So I was just really nervous, but don't be nervous. They've seen a million of them all day long and it was, they're so nice there. They make you feel so comfortable. And to be honest, there's too much pain to even worry about how you look. While you're in the appointment as well, it's super important to breathe. I was so tense and clenched up that she had to walk me through like her breathing technique. I don't know if everyone does this, like every wax specialist does this just because I've only went to one, but you can ask them to like help you with your breathing because the first couple ones I was so tense and tight and that just like holds on to your little hairs and your body just, it just makes it horrible. It makes it so much worse when you're like, holding your breath and you're clenching and you're just like, Ugh, and they're trying to talk to you and I'm just like, honey, I can't even, like, she was asking me questions about which high school I go to and all these things and I just, not having it. Um, so, but then midway through, she started to help me with my breathing. She would put on the wax and she would say, okay, breathe in and I would take a deep breath in and when I would take a deep breath out, she would rip the wax off and that helped so, so much to be able just to like, focus on my breathing, let it out, and as soon as I let it out, she ripped it off. If you are not one that likes to know when it's gonna happen, maybe that doesn't help. Um, I don't care, I'm fine if I like see a shot coming in or see them ripping it off, doesn't matter to me. Just tell me what to do with my breathing, um, and it really helped a lot, so that I would recommend asking your wax specialist, like letting them know, like, hey, can we do the breathing technique, please? Like, perfect. Moving on to now post wax, I think my number one thing, this kind of goes obviously I guess for before your wax, but to wear loose clothing and wear just comfortable underwear. You're going to get wax, so it's very important to not wear like your best underwear, obviously, like just be free, wear your grandma panties. I would recommend wearing like cotton underwear. I did not wear cotton, I wore like, I don't even, it was kind of like a spandex. It was like, not a thong, it was underwear, but it was like a spandex material and that against like my freshly irritated waxed skin was so horrible. I literally had to walk around the store like, you guys can't see, I'm wearing shorts, but like holding my pants out like this because it was so uncomfortable. So cotton is the way to go. Just make sure you wear like, not jeans, you can wear sweats, like work out, whatever you're comfortable in, but just make sure nothing tight and it's gonna like, friction against that freshly waxed skin. Ugh. Yeah, so definitely nice comfortable clothing and underwear is gonna help you out a ton. Okay, so my favorite part of this video is talking about the products that I used to help heal my skin. When I first got um, the wax done, I was like immediately irritated. I knew from the moment that I got there that I was going to be irritated. It happens all the time with my brows, like no matter how many times I've gone, I've gone to my brows for years, I still always get red and irritated for like the whole night. So I knew this was going to be an issue. Um, and so I was insanely red, insanely irritated. And when I left, they put on this little like cream to help with the irritation. And I was going to buy that cream because I didn't know what to use. And she said they were out of stock. So I was like, okay, that doesn't help. So then she told me just to pick up regular Neosporin. So dun, dun, dun. This is my little like lifesaver. I was so happy she recommended this to me because going back to ingrown hair situation, I was petrified. I will let you know I haven't had an ingrown hair. So I'm very, very excited. I don't know when it's like, do they pop up later? Like, it's been at like a week and I haven't had one, so I don't know if one's gonna like spring up in like two more weeks. Like, I don't know, but I feeling very blessed and I think the Neosporin helped a ton with the irritation. It complete, this is all I used um, the first night because I didn't really know what else to use um, to help it out. So I just bought Neosporin and lathered this sucker on, laid on my couch with no pants on for like the whole night just let everything breathe and relax. I booked my wax on a Friday just to make sure, um, cause I knew that I was gonna be irritated and I didn't want to have to go out of the house and see people and wear cute clothing. Like I wanted to be naked in Neosporin. So that's what I did and I absolutely, absolutely recommend. You could also, wherever you're going, I'm sure they have products that you can buy. They were out of stock when I went, which maybe that's just sabotaging me from the moment, but 
they didn't have anything available so I just picked up the Osborne like she recommended and I think it absolutely helped with any irritation and um, a little bit with like the itching so loved it my next holy grail product that I wish I would have bought even before I booked an appointment because I didn't buy this till like two days after and this is the Gigi No Bump Solution. Um, this helps a ton with ingrown hairs. So I just had Sebastian pick this up at Ulta because, like I said, I didn't get this for like three days after. And I couldn't wear pants for like three days after. Like I was, even though the irritation had gone down a little bit, I still had so much like bumps. Um, from the wax that the Neosporin wasn't helping with and so I was just like googling and researching and everyone raves about this so I picked this up and I absolutely been loving it this helps so much with the redness with the bumps once I put it on like the night or the next day I felt so much better I could wear normal clothing I could move around the house like I was back to normal so I definitely recommend this for any of you guys um, I don't know how much it was, I literally can't remember, but I will leave a link to it below and it really, really saved my little lady bits. So these two were like match made in heaven. Continuing on with aftercare, you're just going to want to exfoliate two days before. I waited like three days just because I felt like I had to recover a little bit longer. Um, but exfoliating is going to help with those ingrown hairs as well. Make sure it is a salt scrub and not a sugar scrub. That was the main thing that she told me to not use sugar scrubs. So um, I just made my own because I was like very scared. I didn't want to buy something at the store that I didn't know which products were in it. I didn't know what they were using, if they had fragrance, like I just know. So I made my own salt scrub with just salt and a little bit of coconut oil. You could use olive oil um, and that helped a ton. It felt so good. Okay, so those are some of my tips and just like sharing my experience for you guys. As you guys can see, I did everything backwards and incorrect and just no prep at all. So I hope that these tips will help you have a better experience if you're thinking about getting a wax. It's really not that that bad um, it's very not the best thing that's ever happened to me like I almost didn't even want to do it again but now that I'm all healed I think that I definitely see the benefit of it it's so nice to not have to shave the more that you do it the less it hurts and the less hair that you'll have which sounds like the best thing in the whole wide world I can't wait to get there <laughs> um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed I hope this was just kind of like a fun introduction to this new series and I hope that it helped so don't be too scared if you don't want to wax don't wax like it's not that big of a deal to even have hair to shave do whatever you're comfortable with I just wanted to share my experience in case you guys were looking to give it a try so let me know down below your story or any other tips you have to share I would love to hear them I'm still new at this as well um, these are the things that I found that have worked but if you have something else I would love to hear your recommendations and I will see you guys in my next video bye